it seems absurd to call a dollar one comma five hundred slash pound one comma four hundred turntable a steal, but that's just what the Marantz TT 15 S1 is. For the money, you get a gorgeous turntable that sounds incredible. The clear audio virtuoso cartridge tracks beautifully, has excellent dynamic range and digs for details you didn't know were there. If you're becoming a serious vinyl collector, the TT 15 S1 deserves an audition. The recipe for a great turntable seems simple. You need a rigid chassis that dampens vibration, a motor that keeps good time and a needle that can track record groves well. While the basic formula is the same among all turntables, the devil is in the details. While most record collectors will be satisfied with the excellent sounding AudioTech NICA at LP120 USB or the Project Debut Carbon, there are better turntables for those who truly value audio fidelity. One such turntable is the Marantz TT 15S1. Yes, it's over three times the price of the Project Debut Carbon costing $1,500, 1,400 pounds, $3,000, but it sounds monumentally better to the trained ear. While the project was merely good at retrieving detail, the Marantz wows by digging into the grooves and extracting detail you never noticed before. It's also a work of art. It seems almost absurd to call the Marantz TT 15S1 a bargain, but that's exactly what it is. Here's why. Design and features. The Marantz TT 15S1 is stunning to look at. Its plinth is made out of a single piece of frosted acrylic with three beefy feet to dampen vibration from speakers and footsteps. This acrylic plinth has two cutouts for the tone arm and the motor. Speaking of, the tone arm itself is a work of art and comes out of the box wired and ready to go. You simply have to drop it in the hole, line it up and tighten a single set screw. If you're using the included turntable mat, you'll need to use the felt spacer included to space the tone arm up so that the vertical tracking angle is appropriate. The motor itself is completely detached from the plinth to control vibration. It seems odd at first but it actually works very well. The motor simply sits by itself and is connected to the frosted acrylic platter via a clear rubber belt. Speed changes are done manually by putting the belt on the appropriate pulley, 33. RPM on the smaller pulley at the bottom and 45 RPM on the bigger, upper pulley. This isn't a big deal as the belt change takes a few seconds. However, there's no ability to play 78 RPM records, which is a shame. Combine all of these elements together and the Marantz TT 15S1 has an incredibly dark background when playing records, there's no hum from the motor, no audible vibration from the platter or plinth. All you hear is what's on the record and nothing.